All right, so let's just jump right into tightening the retaining screw in your Islander mooching reel. So this goes for any of our lineup that has the combination of a retaining screw and a drag knob. So our TR3, our MR3, our MR2LA, discontinued AR, MR2, anything that has the combo of those two things. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to tighten that properly here. So we still get a lot of calls and emails about people's uh, retaining screws actually coming out of their reels while they're fishing. Sometimes even their drag knobs fly into the water uh, with it. And uh, also reels can separate by doing that. Obviously, you see the only thing keeping your reel together is that drag knob and retaining screw. So what's happening is, for, the, for anything that's separating, is the retaining screw is not being tightened onto the right spot. The retaining screw has to be tightened onto the actual spindle. What's happening is, is the retaining screw is being tightened onto the drag knob. And as soon as you actuate it in any direction, the screw becomes loose immediately and your reel is completely compromised. So in the middle of your reel here is the spindle, okay? So we're trying to tighten the retaining screw onto the spindle. But what happens is it's being tightened onto the drag knob. So here's the top of the drag knob here, and then you'll see it goes into the well, and then there comes the shelf. There's a whole shelf at the whole bottom of this drag knob, okay? So this shelf has to be turned past the head of the spindle. It has to be turned down so the retaining screw can be tightened onto the spindle and not the shelf of this drag knob here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the drag knob on and I'm going to turn it down. Turn, turn, turn until you physically see the shelf below the top of your spindle. Right? Go down as far as you need to. Then you go ahead and take your spindle screw, your retaining screw here, Tighten that up with your finger, and then you go ahead and grab the wide blade screwdriver as to not mark the screw. You can just go ahead and give that a little tighten. And then you can back this off, the drag knob all the way off, and then you're good to go. You can see that the screw is not moving and uh, everything's nice and tight. You can even come back in and check it. Perfect. So I'll, I'll show you where it's going wrong. If you don't do the drag knob down, what you have is the lip of the drag knob above or parallel to the face of the spindle. That's bad news. And I'll show you why. So go ahead and tighten this up. Okay, boom, everything's tight. Feels great. Feels like it should until you move this and then see the screw moving see I can just I can just move it it's because it's not tightened to the spindle it is now tightened to the drag knob and your reel will fall apart if this happens so just do the drag knob down again you know halfway or so tighten her up bring her back and as you can see you cannot move that screw and your reel will not fall apart and it will be uncompromised and it will be good to go to catch all the fish and uh, I hope this helps. And this is it for this edition of Maintenance Mondays.